All right, first night in the boat was a success, and uh, nice and warm. Actually, I have the air going, which is supposed to be a heater, but I don't think that works. <laughs> or I don't know how to use it yet. Uh, hardest part is this thing. You trying to get you in and out of the boat because you're so old and you can't jump anymore. Right? Right? Yeah. Anyway, it's time to take care of her one. to be called Wild Thing. I have since renamed her. From this day forth she shall be called Sailing Vessel Quest. But first, coffee. Also, the gate closes to this marina at like 7 p.m. so I got locked out last night. Alright, get back over for food. Let's see how she's doing. Is this open? Did I leave it open? No, I locked it. Did you finish your food? Oh, good job. Good job, buddy. Alright, let's go take you off for a minute. Okie dokie, round two of cleaning is about to start. Yesterday I only got the galley, barely. I've got a problem. I do not know how to drain the sinks. I just opened one and the other one filled up. YouTube? Okay. Maybe I'll do some research. Okay, I just left to go to lunch. <laughs> and I realized that uh, I left the seacock open to 
the drain on the sink. Now, I don't think that's a problem. I actually don't know exactly how they operate, um, whether they're one-way valve or how that works. Um, but anyway, I'm now driving back <laughs> to go close it before I go to lunch. Luckily, I'm only a mile away. Okay, just got back from the boat, going back to lunch again. I closed all the seacocks, and I forgot about the one in the toilet. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't know what the process is, so I am going to have to do some reading. If you guys know what the process is about uh, the rules to closing your seacocks, let me know. Um, yeah. Okay, it is 2.59, 3 o'clock. Uh, I've been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, and I'm so close to being done. Gotta hop on the board. Ooh. Close to being done, and then I went into the aft berth which is honestly uh, a bigger bed than the V-Birth, but uh, I found a horrible rotting board, and it must have been because a window was leaking. Check it out. This board is just falling apart. It's disgusting. I don't even realize why they even had this thing there. It is just a laminated, laminated piece of ply, and it's nasty, and it smells like sh So, I'll show you where that was. Oh, my dirty sink, that I'm trying to clean up. Okay. So, back here is the V or the aft berth and on this table was all or was that nasty thing so this is all glue that looks like little worms I need to peel all this up throw it out and then honestly I'm not even gonna replace that because this is all laminate. There's no reason it was even on there to begin with, just to make it look pretty. Or besides just to make it look pretty. So, I'm going to clean that up and see what it looks like here in a minute. Cleaning is done of the V-birth, or the aft birth. Eh, I'll figure out the names are soon enough. So now heading back to the truck where Echo's been sleeping for the past two hours. And I'm gonna take her, let's see, right over there, to the park. So, I'll drink a beer. <laughs> down surfaces anymore. Maybe I'll start that again tomorrow morning. 
front of me, which hopefully you can see, are the owner's manuals. It's time to start digging into these. Okay, so what did I learn? I learned that the the head sink is not connected to its seacock. I learned that the heater, although it may be turned on, is not working correctly. And that we're missing a water tank. I knew that before. I did learn that it was supposed to be 22 gallons. Uh, I learned that there was an additional 30 gallons up front that had been taken out to install the air conditioner. What else did I learn? Oh, I learned that the fuel tank was originally over there on the port, port aft side of the boat. And now it is under, well, just in front of the sink. Good. Uh, oh, I learned that my mast is 50 feet. And I need to learn how to use the Garmin. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm right here. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, that is a really bad thunderstorm. That was crazy last night. The thunder and lightning was so strong. Well, the thunder was strong, the lightning was intense. Uh, but hey, new day, beautiful morning. I just took Echo out, took her to the truck. Uh, now we're going to get some coffee. Good job. Okay, let's go get coffee. the first day of day but let's say it is day three uh, still got a lot to do before we can sail off the day after Christmas it is Monday Christmas is on Friday we leave on Saturday uh, and why when I say we I mean myself and my two cousins well my cousin and my second cousin um, father and son uh, they're gonna come with me help me sail the boat down from Tampa to Fort Myers uh, first go first sail so I got a lot to do uh, but first I still have cleaning to do I didn't think it would take this long to clean the boat um, but I guess everyone says boat projects take longer than you think or double the time that you think it would take so I guess that's accurate then so I got about another hour and a half of wiping down walls and ceilings and, and then the bathroom. And then I need to make a run to West Marine and grab my new anchor, grab some butyl tape. There were a bunch of leaks last night. So I'm gonna try to seal up a few of them. Um, I don't know if I can seal up all of them or not, but I'm gonna try to do what I can. I do need to fix a leak, which should be easy right here. This is the hot water heater. There is a loose connection here. So I just need to tighten this and that should 
fix my problem. Let's see if I can. Okay. sink there's nowhere for the water to go except for right there which reminds me I need to get that um, so it's supposed to drain out here that is the through hole but I don't know where this pipe leads through there up into here and then from here I don't know where it goes actually I need to take this off Back to this line, which goes down under directly to the pump. Question is, how do I hook them all together? How? Um, Maybe I just run a line from there down into here, let it drain into here, and then this will pump it out. To be determined. I remember when I was looking through here, I saw a diagram of all the through holes. So. Was wrong. The inlet is the one on the right, the drain is the one above it. This okay, so this is supposed to be the drain, and this is the inlet. I think. My hoses are backwards. 